Hello and welcome to another video by IELTS Master. For today's video, we are doing, we are continuing actually with the reading that we started in the last video. And before we start the video, please do subscribe to my channel. And if you find this video interesting, you can go ahead and share that with your friends and family, whoever is preparing for IELTS. Because I randomly give a bunch of tips and tricks within my video, which turns out to be helpful during the examination. With that being said, if you want to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell button, you can go ahead and do that. And by that way, you will be getting all the notification whenever I'm posting the video. So let's start with the explanation of this reading. So for today's reading, we have section two. And the title is Chinese Yellow Citrus and for Biological Control. So reading the title is really, really, really important because while the title can be just a single line, it is giving you an overview like you will be able to know what the passage is all about just by going through the title. Sometimes it is also seen that there are questions regarding the title that do you think it is justified for the writer to provide this title for the reading or what can be an alternate or alternative title for this reading so if we just go like we just read the title it will give you a vague idea what is that vague idea so they are talking about a specific kind of ant that is the Chinese yellow citrus ant so this ant or this particular insect what it is doing so they're using that for biological control. So that means they are using that for some scientific research, for some kind of control. They're taking some steps with the help of these ants. So let's proceed with the explanation. If you want to solve the reading before going through the exa explanation, you can go and like do that. But if you want to go through the explanation and then check the questions, if you think that will be a better way for your reading, you can do that too. If you want to just do the questions before going through the explanation, you can pause the video right now and then you can come back and check the explanation. A. In 1476, the farmers of Bern in Switzerland decided, according to this story, there was only one way to read their fields of the cutworms attacking their crops so they are talking about a specific place in switzerland in 1476 the farmers they just got one solution to get rid of some of the worms in their fields that were attacking the crops they took the pests to court so they took the pest means they tried to file against the best in the court. The worms were tried, found guilty, and excommunicated by the archbishop. So that was the whole like justice given to the farmers. In China, farmers had a more practical approach to pest control. So this single line denotes that the above lines that we read, those approach or the way that was taken by the farmers were not practical or logical. That was more like a childish behavior. So let's see what the other line says. Rather than rely on divine intervention, they put their faith in frogs, ducks and ants. So rather than taking that approach of law and order, they just depended or they tried to use frogs, ducks and ants to get rid of all the pests. Frogs and ducks were encouraged to map up the pests in the paddies and the occasional plague of locusts. So frogs and ducks were encouraged means they were maybe left in the fields and they were given like this is your free area you can go ahead search for the like pests kill them and sometimes also like 
plague of locust so locust is kind of an insect like an insect that attack fields and there are several like articles in the news also that certain places are going through locust attacks so they are really dangerous when it comes to farming because they can destroy the whole field and they come in groups to destroy the field but the notion of biological control began with an ant so now they are saying from where the biological control that notion means from where the terminology began it began with an ant more specifically the story says it started with the predatory yellow citrus ant is a type of weaver ant which has been polishing up pests in the orange groves of southern china for at least 1700 years so the story says that using or these ants protecting the chinese farms or the fields this process began 1700 years back the yellow citrus ant is a type of weaver ant so this thing can be a typo <laughs> is a type of weaver ant which binds leaves and twigs with silk to form a neat tent like nest so they are saying what the yellow citrus ant does and how it makes a nest in the beginning farmers made do with the odd ants nest here and there but it wasn't long before growing demand led to the development of thriving trade in nests and a new type of agriculture and farming so this ant farming was very very popular in china and that's what these lines are suggesting because it developed so much b for an insect that bites the yellow citrus ant is remarkably popular even by ant standards ocophilia smaragdina so yeah the pronunciation can differ ocophilia or ecophilia and smaragdina so don't go through those difficult words i will say because in reading it is not about pronunciation or pronunciation it is mostly about remembering where you are getting the words okay is a fearsome predator it's big runs fast and has a powerful nip painful to humans but little to many of the insects that plague the orange groves of guangdong and guangxi in southern china so these are the names of two places in china and where in southern china and these ants they are really famous for its bite like the way it bites it is dangerous it is painful to human but it is also like perfect or better if that bite is happening to some other pest like they are biting the pest so that is something that is a positive point of that ant and for at least 17 centuries so 17 centuries 1700 try to just mark those things because in the examination sometimes it can say that suppose only this is given and they can say 17 centuries so you might be thinking oh i did not see anything with 17 centuries or they might not say 1700 like that like 1700 they might say 1734 or 1789 something like that in a broken part and then they can just use a phrase for at least 17 centuries or for more than 17 centuries so those are the words or those are the numbers to just have a look into because if you have seen that number the words can go different go and check that number just to verify that it is the same exact thing that is being asked in the question so and for at least 17 centuries chinese orange growers have harnessed these six-legged killing machines 
to keep their fruit groups healthy and productive. Again, they are trying to give a reference to these ants, that particular kind of ants, by just saying six-legged killing machines. Six-legged, we know ants, they have six legs, just like a spider having eight legs. So, six-legged killing machine, yeah, they are having really painful bite. So, this is a reference, and if anywhere in the question it says, so Chinese are, like from here, Chinese orange growers are using ants to keep their fruit group safe, you will know that, yes, it is true, or they're talking about this line. The story explains that citrus, a fruit involved, sorry, a fruit evolved in the Far East and the Chinese discovered the delights of their flesh early on as the ancestral home of oranges, lemons, and pomelos. China also has the greatest diversity of citrus pests. So now it is said that yeah, China do have different types of citrus fruit, but they do have different types of citrus pests that try to destroy those fruits. And the trees that produce the sweetest fruits, the mandarins or can, attract a host of plant-eating insects from black ants and sap-sucking mealy bugs to leaf devouring caterpillars. So again, they're trying to explain how those insects are and they're using some of the qualities for those insects. So the fruits, sweetest, they're using and which fruit like mandarins or can. Plant-eating insect, yeah, like the pest. And what kind of plant-eating insect? black ants so those ants are different from the ants that they're using as a killer machine sap sucking mealy bugs so that's also a quality and leaf devouring so they are eating the leaves and leaf devouring caterpillars with so many enemies fruit growers clearly had to have some way of protecting their orchards so yes you need to have something to safeguard the field in which you are growing fruit otherwise you know the pests they can destroy everything and once that is destroyed it will just blow down the economy of that country if they are only like specified into farming or they are into farming for these fruits they are the only exporters see the West did not discover the Chinese orange growers secret weapon until the early 20th century. At the time, Florida was suffering an epidemic of iterous canker and in 1915, Walter Swingle, a plant physiologist working for the U.S. Department of Agriculture was, the story says, sent to China in search of varieties of orange that were resistant to the disease. So now, China, they were using it like this secret weapon for 17 centuries or more than that maybe. But this was not known to the West like in the US. So, they sent somebody who was a physiologist, like a plant physiologist, to study how China is protecting their fruit from these kind of pests. Swingle spent some time studying the citrus orchards around Guangzhou and there he came across the story of the cultivated ant. These ants, he was told, were grown by the people of a small village nearby who sold them to the orange growers by the nestful. So these ants were like growing some people in the village they were trying to grow the ants they were trying to make that nest and sell those nests with the ants d the earliest report of citrus ants at work among the orange trees appears in a book on tropical and subtropical botany written by his han so his hand is the name. We might think his is a pronoun, but 
it is a name. In AD 304 or 304 AD, the people of Shaoxi sell in their markets ants in bags of rush matting. The ants are, sorry, the nests are like silk. The bags are all attached to twigs and leaves, which with the ants inside, the nests are for sale. So they are only describing what the people of the village try to sell in the markets. The ants are reddish yellow in color, bigger than ordinary ants. In the south, if the Khan trees did not have this kind of ant, the fruits will be damaged by many harmful insects, and not a single food, fruit will be perfect. E. Initially, farmers relied on nests, which they collected from the wild or bought in the market, where trade in nests was brisk. It is said that in the south, Orange trees, which are free of ants, will have wormy fruits. Therefore, the people raise, oh, the people raised to buy nests for their orange trees, wrote Liu Shan in Strange Things Noted in the South, written about AD 890. So now they are saying in E that initially the farmers relied on the nests that were grown naturally or they try to buy that from the market that the people who were selling in the market but those trades were brisk like they were not that fast but steady but not that fast it is said that in the south like if there were any farm or any field which did not have those ants they were like there was a hundred percent chance that those farms will be having worms in the fruit The business quickly became more sophisticated from 10th century country people began to trap ants in artificial nests and bait it with fat. So then it was just like a business that started growing those ants and getting those nests. Fruit growing families buy these ants from vendors who make a business of collecting and selling such creatures, wrote Shuang Shiyu in 1130. That's the year. They trapped them by filling hogs or sheep's bladders with fat and placing them with the cavities open next to the ant's nest. So that's how they're using the fat. They wait until the ants have migrated into the bladders and take them away. So they trap the ants in the bladders and remove those bladders. This is known as rearing orange ants. Farmers attach the bladders to their trees and in time the ants spread out to other trees and build new nests. So getting those bladders, getting them attached with the trees, ants after maybe eating or devouring those fats they try to spread out they try to reproduce and take care of the trees by the 17th century growers were building bamboo walkways between their trees to speed the colonization of their orchards the ants ran along these narrow bridges from one tree to another and established nests by the hundreds of thousands so next what the farmers did they tried to create some bridges with which the ants will be able to travel to different trees and that will be faster because if the ants they are in a tree top and they have to travel to the next tree they have to climb all the way down then take the ground and then go to another tree and then climb to the top but creating the bridges, it will be lessening that time because the ants, they will be just crawling a bit down, getting that bamboo bridge, and then they will be crossing that bridge and going to another tree. So that will be reducing the distance, and by that maybe it is speeding things up. 
F. Did it work? The orange growers clearly thought so. One authority, Shi Tashan, writing in 1700, stressed how important it was to keep the fruit trees free of insect pests, especially caterpillars. It is essential to eliminate them so that the trees are not injured. But hand labor is not nearly as efficient as ant power. So yes, there were caterpillars who were supposed to be the biggest enemies, according to Shitashun's writing. And then they said that if they are using manual labor, that is eliminating them by hand, it was not that efficient. And ant power was better, way, way better than that. Swingle was just as impressed. Yet, despite this reports, so whenever you see despite, so yeah, there is this, this, this. But, however, that is the exact synonym. Like, however, this this like something opposite is going to happen. So, yet, despite this reports, many Western biologists were skeptical. So, yeah, we are seeing progress. We are seeing good results. But, who knows? Like, they were skeptic. They were not sure. They were doubting things. In the West, the idea of using one insect to destroy another was new and highly controversial. The first breakthrough had come in 1888 when the infant orange industry in California had been saved from extinction by the Australian Vidalia beetle. This beetle was the only thing that had made any inroad into the explosion of cotton scale that was threatening to destroy the state's citrus crops. So yeah, this is an example in the West that happened that a beetle that did something like wonderful and they tried to save some of the farm, like some of the, you can say, harvest in California. But as Swiggle now knew, California's first was nothing of the sort. Because Swiggle knew what's happening in China, right? So California, who is saying, oh, this is the first time this, this, this is happening. Swiggle was like, nah, it happened in China before. I have seen that. The Chinese had been expert in biocontrol for many centuries. So it was Chinese who were like, they were the pro in this field. G. The story goes on to say that the long tradition of ants in the Chinese orchards began to waver in the 1950s and 1960s with the introduction of powerful organic, I guess the author means chemical insecticides. Although most fruit growers switched to chemicals, a few hung onto their ants. So yeah, with the invention of insecticides like the chemical insecticides a lot of people or a lot of farmers they preferred having them but there were some people who preferred using those ants for killing the pests those who abandoned ants in favor of chemicals quickly became disillusioned as costs soared and pests began to develop resistance to the chemicals. Growers began to revive the old ant patrols. So this line is saying that whoever or there was like number of farmers or those group of farmers who thought that, yeah, let's get some of those chemical insecticides and get rid of these ants. They tried, like, after seeing how costly those insecticides can be, they just dropped the idea and they just got those ants back for, like, farming and using them to farming. They had good reason to have faith in their insect workforce. 
Research in the early 1960s showed that as long as there were enough ants in the trees, they did an excellent job of dispatching some pests, mainly the larger insects, and had modest success against others. Trees with yellow ants produced most, sorry, almost 20% more healthy leaves than those without. So again, they're saying what happened after having the yellow ants, they were producing or the trees were producing better healthy leaves. And this is a comparison with those trees which did not have those yellow ants. More recent trials have shown that these trees yield just as big a crop as those protected by expensive chemical sprays. So yeah, both of the trees, they are giving the same size of fruit. Then why having or why using chemicals or spend those money in buying those chemical insecticides, even insecticides which are chemical, they are harmful too. So why? H. One apparent drawback of using ants and one of the main reasons for the early skepticism by Western scientists was that citrus ants do nothing to control mealybugs, waxy coated scale insects, which do considerable damage to fruit trees. In fact, the ants protect mealybugs in exchange for the sweet honeydew they secrete. So, this lines say like the last para, there is like a drawback that is being said. The whole passage about was about praising how good those ants are, but the last para is kind of a contrast that yeah, those ants they helped, but with the mealybugs it was not the same way how they fought. Because mealybugs they secret like they produced sweet honeydew which the ants maybe they consumed those honeydew and protected the mealybugs the orange growers always denied this was a problem but western scientists thought they knew better so yeah the orange growers means the chinese they denied that no this is not the case but western scientists they said yeah this was the case research in the 1980s suggests that the growers were right all along. So the growers, orange growers, they were right that this is not the case, this is not happening. While mealybugs proliferate under the ants' protection, they are usually heavily parasitized and this limits the harm they can do. So the mealybugs, that like the bugs, proliferate means they produce or they thrive. You can say reproducing, thriving, growing, anything. Under the ants' protection, they usually heavily parasitized or parasitized means they are having parasites in themselves. And that is limiting the harm that they can do on those trees. Orange growers who rely on carnivorous ants rather than poisonous chemicals maintain a better balance of species in their orchards. While the ants deal with the bigger insect pests, other predatory species keep down the numbers of smaller pests such as scale insects and aphids. In the long run, ants do a lot less damage than chemicals and they are certainly more effective than excommunication. So the last lines, although they tried to show kind of a difference or maybe a negative point of the ants, but it was not so. And it was like seen that the ants are doing a better job than the chemicals. So this was all about the reading for the passage two. If you want to pause the video, you can go ahead and practice the questions. Take your good 20 minutes and practice the question and then we will be coming back discussing the answers and checking for the justification. So let's start with the questions that we have after this passage and see how we are getting the answers. Question 14 to 18. 
use the information in the passage to match the year listed A to G with correct description below. Write the appropriate letters A to G in boxes. So you have to write A to G in the boxes. 14 to 18 on your answer sheet. So for questions 14 to 18, you have to write the alphabets. And let's check the boxes. It has years and alphabets. And here, note you may use any letter more than once. So any option can be used more than once. So mostly you can see all these are years other than this AD. So if there are something like this in the examination, somebody can think that, okay, this can be a mistake or something. But again, AD can denote something that you have read in the question or something that was next to a year or something. Any kind of indication that you will be seeing in the passage is reflected in here. So let's see what is AD and where is AD coming from. Let's check question 14. First record of ant against pests written. Let's go back to the passage and see if we can see anything regarding this question. So question 14 was about first records of ant and we have read in the passage somewhere early records or something was mentioned. Yes, indeed. The earliest report of citrus ants at work among the orange trees appears in a book on tropical and subtropical botany written by his hand in 80. So we are having 80, 304. So they are talking about 80 and we know where we saw 80. Here in the box F we saw 80. It was 304 or 80 is 304 and nowhere is 304 so it will be 80 F as the answer and here some students might make a mistake they might be writing 80 instead of F if you are writing 80 it should not be the answer or should not be the way the examiner wants you to write it should be F if you are writing 80 you won't be getting any band score Although you are writing that correctly, everything is matching, but it should not be the correct way of getting the band score. I would say ideally you are not getting band score if you are not following the instruction. So for that, it would be F and not 80. 15. WS studied and intervention method in China. WS. Interesting. Who is WS? It can be a person or something. But it is saying that WS studied. So yeah, person for sure. It can be an initial. We read about somebody like somebody who was a plant physiologist or something. Who went to China to study something, right? Let's go back to the passage and search for that. Here, let's check these lines. So at the time, Florida was suffering an epidemic of itrous canker. And in 1915, Walter Swingle, so W for Walter Swingle, start with S, a plant physiologist working for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, was, the story says, sent to China in search of varieties of orange. So, yeah, the year is 1915. Going back to the passage, let's search from where we are getting the year. We are getting the year from the C option, which is 1915. So again, the answer for 15 would be C and not 1915. 16. First case of orange crops rescued by insect in Western world. So let's see from which para we are getting the answer and then which year would be the answer. So if we are going to like a bit further down and checking the para here which says some lines about a breakthrough happening in the western world so these lines the first breakthrough had come in 1888 when the infant orange industry in california had been saved from extinction by the australian vidalia beetle so 1888 let's go back to the question and search for the year which is a and for that reason we will be writing a in here instead of 1888 because a is actually the answer 
17. Chinese farmers start to choose chemical method. And we read something about the chemical method almost in the, like, beneath where we just read about the Western world who got that, like, breakthrough. Let's check that. So in here, if we try to read the G-Para, the story goes on to say that the long tradition of ants in Chinese orchards only began to waver. Waver end, you can say. Waver is reduced, you can say. Or the trend was going downwards, you can say. In 1950s and 1960s, with the introduction of powerful organic chemical insecticide. So this year, that is given like 1950s and 1960s, you can try to see if one of the years are mentioned. If we go to the box, it says G, 1950. I don't see 1960 anywhere, so assuming this is the only option left for us to write for the question 17, it would be G and not 1950. 18. A book wrote mentioned ways to trap ants. So it will be a book that was written and what was the book about? It was about the ways how ants can be trapped. So let's check the box here and go back to the passage. And let's see where we can find anything about any book saying, so like trapping the ants. So I can see here about trap. Let's go like a little bit in the top and let's see what E says. Initially, farmers relied on nests, which, with, which they collected from the wild or bought in the market. While the trade in nests was brisk, it is said that in the south, orange trees, which are free of ants, will have wormy fruits. Therefore, the people raised to buy nests for their orange trees wrote, Liu Sun, in Strange Things Noted in the South, written about 8890. And then they say that the business quickly became just more sophisticated. So they are talking about something like ants and nests and with that nest. Let's see what they are saying further from the 10th century country people. Began to trap ants in artificial nests baited with fat. Fruit growing families buy these ants from vendors who make a business of collecting and selling these creatures, wrote Shuang Shi in 1130. So, 1130. We can see a year. And we can see it is said about the ways by which they were trapping or they were like having the traps that were made by the ants. And now let's go back to the box. I can see E option has 1130. So 1130 would be the actual answer because it is about the specific year that we can see in the passage wrote by Xuan Shiyou in 1130 about everything that is about the traps. So the answer for our 18th number question would be E. That is the answer that we see in the E box, 1130. So E would be the actual answer. Six. Do the following statements agree with the information given in reading passage 2? In boxes 19 to 26 on your answer sheet, write true if the statement is true false if the statement is false not given if the information is not given in the passage so again following the instruction we would be only writing true false not given and not tfng because writing those can be confusing in the examination and we don't want anybody losing any mark so yeah that's a shortcut but should not be followed in the examination and may not be in the practice session because Whatever you practice, it will be imbibed in you and whenever you are trying to replicate or when you are trying to take the test, it would be something that can be a habit formation. 
it's better to avoid something that is not a good habit, right? So better practice with writing true, false, and not given. So question 19. China has the most citrus pests counted in types in the world. So is this true? Is this false? Is this not given? We can go back to the passage and check for the answer. But we have read somewhere about China saying similar things. And let's move back to the passage searching where. So in these lines, if you see, the story explains that citrus of fruits evolved. And again, this can be a typo. Fruits evolved or a fruit. So fruits evolved in the Far East and the Chinese discovered the delights of this flesh early on. As the ancestral home of oranges, lemons and pomelos, China also has the greatest diversity. So greatest diversity means they have them in different or various types of fruits of citrus pests. And what was the question that we had? The question was China has the most citrus pests. Yes, greatest diversity. That's the word counted in types in the world. So that will be true because that is found in the passage. 20. Swingle came to China in order to search an insect for the US government. Did we read anything like that? Let's see why did Swingle came in China. C. The West did not discover the Chinese orange grower's secret weapon until the early 20th century. At the time, Florida was suffering an epidemic of itrus canker and in 1915, now Swingle comes in the play. So in 1915, Walter Swingle, a plant physiologist working for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, was, as the story says, sent to China. And now let's see why he was sent to China in search of varieties of orange that were resistant to the disease. So he never came into China to search for an insect, but he was just searching for the orange, how that orange is resistant, like how the orange or the breed of orange is fighting off against the disease. So they had no clue about the insect, but they had the clue that these kind of oranges, they are thriving. So maybe it is something genetically that the oranges are having. So for that obvious reason, let's go back to the question. Search an insect? Nope. It is just the opposite. It was like searching for the orange or the variety of orange. So for that reason, it will be false. Let's go back to the question. See what is question 21. Question 21. Western people were impressed by Swingle's theory of pest prevention. Were they impressed by his theory? Let's go back and see if that is so. If we go a little bit down, in the F para, we can see Swingle. So let's read what they are saying about that. But hand labor is not nearly as efficient as ant power. Swingle was just as impressed. Yet, now yet, we said however or just the opposite something. This reports many Western biologists were skeptical. So what was the question we had? Impressed by Swingle's theory? No, they were not. Actually, it happened just the opposite. They were skeptical. They were in doubt. They were not accepting the fact. So for that reason, it will be a false for the answer. Question 22. Chinese farmers realized that price of pesticides became expensive. We have read that somewhere. We know. If we go back to the passage and check a few line beneath, which says something about chemical insecticides in here, because this is the year when they started using that. 
So although most fruit growers switched to chemicals, a few hung on to their ants. Those who abandoned ants in favor of chemicals quickly became disillusioned as costs soared. So soared means as the cost began to rise or as it became expensive. So let's go back to the uh, like the question and became expensive soared. So true for that reason. 23. Some Chinese farmers start to abandon the use of pesticide. Did we read this somewhere? Yes, we did read this in the next lines only. As costs soared and pests began to develop resistance to the chemicals, growers began to revive the old ant patrols. So we are getting the exact lines that is meaning the same thing as some Chinese farmers start to abandon the abandon the sorry use of pesticide and that is true. 24. Trees without ants had grown more unhealthy leaves than those with. So let's search and see if we are getting something. We read something about healthy leaves. So let's go back to the passage and see what was said there in those lines. If we go back to the passage and just try to scroll a bit down for searching healthy leaves. So trees with yellow ants produced more 20% or almost 20% more healthy leaves than those without. So trees having ants, they had more healthy leaves than those without. Let's go back to the question. Trees without ants, so they are trying to flip the things. Trees without ants had grown more unhealthy. So they're trying to do a double negation. So double negation is something they are putting two opposite words in the same sentence. If we just cross that out, it will be trees with ants had grown more healthy leaves than those without. You can say in here. And we read the same thing in the passage. So that is for sure a true true sentence and that will be the answer too like true 25th yield of fields using ants is larger than a crop larger a crop than that using chemical pesticides 25th we read something regarding that too so let's go back to the passage and see what they exactly wanted to say in the next few lines we can see the word yield more recent trials have shown that these trees yield just as a big crop than those protected by expensive chemical sprays. So trees with ants and trees with chemical spray, they are yielding same size of fruit. Going back to the question, what the question says, let's see, yield of fields using ants is larger a crop than that using chemical pesticide. There is nothing as larger or any comparison like that. It just says that it was just as big as that one. So it was equal or almost equal. For that reason, it is kind of a contrast and that will be the answer. So it will be false. Last question for today's video. It is 26th. Chinese orange farmers propose that ant production doesn't work out of China. So let's see if you're having the answer anywhere in the question. Let's go all the way down to H para and see what some line says. Let's start with research in the 1980s suggests that the growers were right all along. Where mealybugs proliferate under the ants protection, they are usually heavily parasitized or parasitized. And this limits the harm they can do. So let's check what the question says again. Because sometimes the question can say a little bit different than what is in the passage. So let's go to the passage. And passage says... Chinese orange farmers propose that ant protection doesn't work out of China. Do we get any information like that? 
we don't see anything like that in the H para itself. Like it does not work out of China or it only stays in China, something like that. Let's read a few more sentences or like few more lines and see. Orange growers who rely on carnivorous ants rather than poisonous chemicals maintain a better balance of species in their orchards. Okay. They do not suggest anything that it is better in China, not in the Western world. Because nowhere in this passage or nowhere in this para, there is any indication about something that is working in a specific region like the ants and not working in other region. So for that obvious reason, we can say for our last question, the answer would be not given because yeah, it is not given. We don't see anything that is similar to the words that is mentioned in here, like the sentence, it does not make any sense or it does not matches. So that was it for today's video. If you liked my video, you can give a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel, share the video. I will be bringing more and more reading tips and I also will be continuing with the writing tips that I was giving. And hopefully that will be helping you in the examination. If you are appearing for IELTS exam in the like next month or next week, all the best for that. And we will meet soon with another video. Till then, all the best.